Welcome to the MPIX track demonstration of the performance appraisal module. In this demonstration, I would be taking you through the following. How an employee completes their appraisal and submits to the manager. How a manager can quickly compare various employees and rate them. How an HR manager can manage and configure the appraisal process. And the reports and dashboards that are available to the management. I will be logging in as the administrator such that I can quickly log in as employees. The following is a hierarchy of a typical organization. We have Susan as the HR head, Terry as the HR manager, John as a manager with Janet, Catherine and Tom as reportees. We will be using the profiles of Janet, John, Susan and Terry in this demonstration. I will now be logging in as Janet, an employee who has been asked to complete her appraisal. Janet has a message from the HR manager asking her to complete her performance appraisal. She clicks on the View button. Janet has many forms available to her. She will be completing each one of them before she submits the same to John. The introduction form contains the details of the process. She can read through this and understand the timelines and her contribution in the process. Her FAQ helps answer any questions that she may have and also saves time for the HR in query handling. The next form can be accessed from the form menu or by clicking on the next form section. The employee self-appraisal is an unstructured yet effective way to capture information. Questions such as hindering factors can identify the key challenges employees have in their jobs. Janet quickly fills in the form and moves to the leadership qualities form. All the competencies that are applicable to Janet are populated here. Janet can view the instructions to fill in the form. Janet rates herself and also fills in appropriate comments to support her ratings. She moves on to the goal sheet form. All the goals from Janet's goal sheet are automatically copied into her performance appraisal. She can also view her achievements throughout the year and rate herself correctly. Janet fills in the development planning form that can help HR in identifying her training and development needs. Once done, she moves on to the final score form. MPIXTRAC automatically calculates the scores based on the ratings entered by employees and managers. This helps avoid mistakes that are often seen in a manual evaluation process. Janet next moves to the submit form to submit the appraisal to John. Janet gives herself a final rating and submits the form. MPIXTRAC will verify if all the forms have been filled in correctly and if everything is fine. An email and message will go to the manager. I will now be logging in as John. John gets the message that Janet has submitted her appraisal. Instead of clicking on the message, John goes to the appraisal section to view the status of his team. All of John's team members show up in the dashboard and he can see that all of them have already submitted their appraisal to him. He selects all of them and clicks on Evaluate. The number of appraisal forms available to John has increased. Additional forms such as employee profile and salary recommendations are available to him only. MPIXTRAC allows you to set up different levels of visibility for different forms. John goes to the employee profile form. All the career details of an employee are available on the employee profile form. This includes goal sheets, past appraisals and salary history. John views the profile of each employee and also views the notes he had stored for them for the year. John now goes to the leadership qualities. MPIXTRAC allows a comparative rating on attributes. John clicks on one attribute for all employees and now he can compare the team for each attribute and rate them appropriately. We have found that this feature is loved by managers. John completes the other forms and goes to the submit page. We will now log in as the HR manager to demo how she can manage the performance appraisal process with ease. That John has submitted Catherine, Janet and Tom's appraisal for the review of the HR manager. Terry wants to notify all the employees who have not submitted their appraisals yet. She views the appraisal dashboard and filters on the initiated status. She selects all the employees and clicks on the communicate button. All employees are selected in the list and she can send a reminder email 
to not only the employees, but also to their managers. Terry wants to access the development plan of all employees such that she can identify their training needs. She selects all employees and selects the print option. She can print all the forms or just a single form on the selected appraisals. She selects the development plan form and prints the same. The output for all reports can be extracted to PDF and spreadsheet formats too. Once Terry has got all the appraisals from the managers, she accepts them and a message goes to John. John can now print the appraisal and conduct a feedback with Janet and his other team members. Now we will show how Terry can set up the appraisal forms and initiate the appraisal process. MPXTRAC also allows multiple appraisal types to coexist. For instance, you may want a different process for your sales team, say a quarterly appraisal, whereas other employees only have a yearly valuation. MPXTRAC manages this through appraisal plans where each plan can have a different timeline, workflow, employees and forms, and associated rules. You can pick up the form templates that are applicable to your appraisal plan. MPXTRAC has over 25 different kinds of ready-made templates, each of which can be customized further to meet your specific needs. Now we will assign weights to each form. The forms that support weights automatically show up. The weights help in calculation of appraisal scores. You can identify a rating scale for each form on the nine grade potential metrics. This rating will help in finding the employee potential. Each appraisal form in MPEX track can be completely configured as per your needs. Let us go to the leadership qualities form to view the options available. As we had seen in Janet's appraisal, she had specific instructions available for each form. The first section, Help Display to the User, allows you to set up these instructions. You can set up the attributes on this form by creating new attributes or using existing ones and set their order, weight, and other attributes. Each of these attributes could have their own rating or a common rating could be used for the forms. If you have well-defined job descriptions for all employees, you could even import the associated skills and competencies during the appraisal. In that case, you would not need to add any attributes explicitly. The last section in configuring a plan relates to setup of visibility rules. You can set extremely granular rules for view and edit rights to different types of employees based on the forms and appraisal state. For instance, you may prevent view access to the employees for the salary recommendation form in any state of the appraisal. Terry and other managers can get a bird's eye view of the process by viewing the dashboards and print various reports related to the appraisal. We now conclude the demonstration on MPEX Track appraisal module. MPEX Track was able to successfully automate complex workflows, support multiple types of appraisals, import existing goals, simplify employee self-appraisal, collect manager comments and ratings, compare rating scores across the team, track the appraisal process, support manager feedback sessions.